the mass balance. Now this mass balance uh, is the basic formula that is the inflow of the mass would be equal to the outflow plus the accumulation. It is based on the conservation of the mass, log conservation of mass. And similarly, we have mass balance that is the feed, whatever feed that you're putting in that would be equal to the outlet that is the product plus any waste stream that is coming up. Now we have the component balance as well. That is the each component can never be broken. Like for example, if you have 60%, 60 kg of the sugar in the feed, then it may be distributed into 20, 40 kg of the sweet uh, sugar. That means there would be some amount of the sugar that is going out from one stream and the some other amount would be going out from the other stream. So that means the component would be distributed distributed but it would remain uh, the total of this component would remain constant so uh, the component balance is applied now for each different unit operation different mass balance would be applied starting with the mass balance for a dryer now in case of dryer the feed is put in and from the feed certain amount of moisture is being evaporated and you get the product so the mass balance would be feed is equals to water plus product. Now, if you're talking about the component balance, if you're talking about the solid balance, that means the amount of solids in it. So let's just say we have X uh, amount of solids in the feed. We have to multiply it with the feed plus zero amount of solids that in the water that has been evaporated plus Y times the uh, uh, amount of solids that are present in the product. We'll be getting something like this. Uh, similarly, if we have different unit operations, the mass balance would be different. Coming to uh, the questions, the few questions, the examples that have uh, that are, uh, have been asked in the previous year questions related to mass balance, starting with the first one, that is the fresh tomato juice containing 6% of, of the total weight, 6% uh, of the total solids enter in a single effect evaporator at a feed rate of 500 kg to concentrate it up to 36% of the weight by weight solid. In this process, the amount of water that is being removed, we have to find out. So this is the question of mass balance wherein evaporator is involved and this evaporator is being used to remove the um, water from the feed. Now this juice is being concentrated and certain amount of water is being evaporated from it. So the diagram for it would be similar to the one that we have been discussing over there so the diagram would be let's just say feed some amount of water is being evaporated and here you are getting the concentrated product let's, let's just denote it by product so the feed has six percent solids and the uh, concentrate that is a product has 36 percent solids we have to find out the water that is being removed that means we need to find out the w now this feed let's just say that is given to us feed is equals to 500 kg per hour okay so feed is equals to amount of water plus amount of product now we are doing the solid balance now in case of solid balance six percent of solid is present in the feed so six divided by 100 into feed that is 500 is equals to zero in water plus 36 percent in case of the product now equating this we can find out the value of uh, this product the uh, product key value on solving this will be around 83.33 kg per hour and to find out the water uh, that is being removed by the help of this evaporator would be feed minus product so it will be 500 minus 83.33 so we are getting 416.67 kg per hour water has to be removed so as to get a concentrated feed of 66 percent weight by weight now coming to the next question which is again that is the amount of solids that is added uh, amount of solids that need to be added to 40 kg mango pulp in order to increase its TSS from 20% to 65%. Now we have this. <coughs> yeah, so we were having this amount of sugar in it. Uh, I mean, we need to add. So initially, we, it is the 
the process of mixing, right? In case of mixing, what we're doing, we have this uh, pulp plus sugar so as to get the product. So let's just say this is the feed and we are getting the product. Uh, first of all, feed would be equal to sugar plus pulp, right? And uh, the amount of pulp, the amount of mango pulp that we need to add is 40 kg. It should be equal to the amount of sugar that we are adding. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. The balance equation that we have to put in over here is not like this. It will be the balance equation would be feed plus sugar would be equal to the product. So feed is given as 40 plus amount of sugar that we have to add and we have to find out and finally the amount of product that we are getting. Let's just apply the solid balance over here. Now in this case, solid balance would be 40 kg of mango pulp has 20% solids. So 20 divided by 100 into 40 plus sugar has 100% solids in it. So sugar is equals to uh, product ho 65 divided by 100 into product. On solving it, we will be getting something like uh, 800 plus 100 S. It should be equal to 65 P. So we will be solving this equation first and equation second in order to get the values of s and p on solving the value of s that we will be getting it would be around 51.4252 yeah it will be 4285 kg and amount of p that you will be getting that would be uh 40 minus this thing i mean 40 plus this thing that is 91.4285 kgs so the question that is being asked is the amount of sugar that needs to be added so it will be s which is equal to 51.4285 in order to get this uh in order to get this um final product that has 65 percent weight by weight of this now the next question that came in the i guess 2019 that was based on this mass balance and it is uh, uh it is asking the tomato potato slices that have to be dehydrated from an initial solid content of 12 percent to final solid content of 94 percent now here they are giving the solid percent not the moisture content of the potato slices if the peeling and other losses uh account to around 10 percent we have to find out the final yield now let's just assume because we have to find out the yield in percentage let's just assume we had 100 kg of potatoes okay 100 kg of potatoes were first taken and they need to be sliced now before slicing they need to be peeled on peeling 10 percent is lost that means 90 kg of potatoes will be remaining right now we need to dry it to a certain content that uh, wherein we need to dry it. That means water needs to be removed from the feed so as to get a product that has 94% solids. Okay, here we had 12% uh, solids. Now again, we will apply the mass balance that is F is equals to water plus product. 90 kg of the potatoes, water is being removed and we'll be getting some amount of product now we'll be putting the component balance so we have solid balance 100 into 90 so water has no solids in it so 0 plus 94 divided by 100 into product so from here we can get the value of p which is the amount of product that you will be getting after the removal of water which will be around Okay, so well, just a minute. Let's just solve this question. We will be getting uh, 12 multiplied by 90 divided by 94. So the amount of product that we will be getting that will be 11.5 kg nearly. Okay, so the amount of water that would be removed would be equal to 
uh, this thing minus 90 minus this thing that is 78.5 kg of water will be removed. Now the question is asked, we have to find out the yield of the dried chips per ton of the fresh potato that is being used. Now, because the question already gave it per ton, and it's just it's not a problem. We have to find out yield, so that wouldn't matter. Uh, so let's just say the percentage yield. It will be equal to the uh, product that you're getting. That is 78.5 divided by 100 kg multiplied by 100. Um, no, sorry, the product that you're getting. Yeah. So the product is 11.5, right? So the 11. 0.5 and on solving the yield would be 11.5 percent. So although we should have started with 1000 kg of potatoes, so multiple of 10 each value will be getting, but uh, it just started over 100 kg of potatoes. That doesn't matter because we had to find Of the uh, 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 the um, 